everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanna show you how to make a really, really, really good vegan lasagna. I swear, even non-vegans will like this one. Even picky people will like this one. Lasagna is one of those comfort foods that I've always loved. In fact, one of my earliest memories of actually cooking was um, when I was really, really little. I must have been like five or six even. I remember making lasagna with my dad. And when I went vegan a couple years ago, like in 2015, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but just a couple years ago, there really were not as many vegan meat and cheese options as there are now and the ones that did exist were you know at times questionable and we've made so much progress in that realm now and i felt the need to revisit this recipe now that i can finally do it justice we've got some beyond sausage some garden crumbles uh recently discovered via life mozzarella which is my new favorite i will never buy another vegan mozzarella again sorry dad no shade you were you were fine but via life so Eric and I teamed up and made this on one of his days off. He made his homemade tomato basil sauce and we slow cooked it while we prepped all the other ingredients. We got two kinds of vegan meat, two kinds of vegan cheese, and um, veggies, and it's just amazing. I'll have the recipe linked down below on my blog, and I hope you enjoy this video. First, we make our homemade tomato basil sauce. You can make this a day or two ahead of time if you like to cut down on prep time the day of. Pluck a big handful or two of fresh basil leaves. It's easy to chop them by stacking the leaves and rolling them up like a cigar first. This recipe also calls for lots of fresh garlic. We used about 8 cloves, but add more or less depending on your preference. We do slow cook this sauce for a few hours so the garlic flavor mellows out a lot. Give it a good mince, or get your girlfriend to mince it for you because you hate handling raw garlic, because it just sticks to you and everything and the knife and you can't wash it off and okay, I'm done. Heat a large pot over medium or medium-high heat and drizzle in a few tablespoons of olive oil. Saute the garlic for three to five minutes until it's very fragrant. Turn the heat down a little bit if it starts to brown. We don't want that because then it gets crunchy and burnt and it's not great. Next, pour in two large cans of crushed tomatoes. We usually like to use the San Marzano tomatoes because they're, uh, better? <laughs> then you're going to add in all your fresh basil and a few seasonings including salt, pepper, dried oregano, onion powder, and some red pepper flakes. We stir everything together and let it come to a very gentle boil. At this point, we reduce the heat to low, cover the sauce, and let it slow cook for at least an hour. In this case, we made it around noon and left to slow cook until we were ready to assemble the lasagna. Lasagna? How do you say it? Lasagna. Lasagna. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. And next, we're going to prep some ingredients for the filling. We've got Beyond Meat hot Italian sausage and a half a bag of garden crumbles, lots of sliced cremini mushrooms, and a chopped zucchini. So we want to cook as much of the extra moisture out from the vegetables as possible so they don't make the lasagna soggy. Start by sautéing the mushrooms until they've shrunk quite a bit. Then add in your zooks, or zucchini. You can use any veggies you like, eggplant, spinach, peppers, etc. Season with just a little bit of salt and pepper and set them aside. Now while your pan is still hot, we want to brown our beef and sausage crumbles just a few minutes. and then set those aside as well. The next step is to prepare our almond tofu ricotta. For this, you'll soak some blanched almonds in water for a few hours. And while I was soaking the almonds, I was also pressing the extra liquid out of a block of extra firm tofu. I add those ingredients into a food processor And then I also add some unsweetened plain vegan yogurt to give it some of that cheesy tang and a little bit of lemon juice. I also added nutritional yeast to this batch. I actually think I'd leave it out next time. I feel like the ricotta I remember was more neutral. And then I added some salt and garlic powder and pureed until it was smooth. And I just gave it a little scrape down to make sure the texture was even. The combination of almonds and tofu make the texture really convincing and similar to authentic ricotta. It's got a little bit of graininess to it, if, if you know what I mean. Mm. 
Now we have all our ingredients prepared and we are ready to assemble our lasagna. We're using a mixture of vegan mozzarella from Violife, which is my favorite I've tried so far. And then we're topping that up with a little bit of the Whole Foods 365 brand vegan mozzarella, which is also good, but not quite as good in my humble opinion. We're using this brown rice lasagna by Tinkyata to make the whole thing magically gluten-free. We made three layers of fillings, pretty self-explanatory, but just make sure you add enough sauce to each layer, especially if you're using the no-boil noodles. Um, we parboiled ours and then we topped the entire thing with three noodles, nice layer of sauce, and a final helping of mozzarella and the Violife Parmesan cheese. We covered this and baked it for about 45 minutes, then you uncover it and leave it in for the last 10 or so minutes to brown the cheese around the edges. That was always my favorite part, eating lasagna as a kid or eating baked mac and cheese. I really liked the crusty cheese around the edges of the dish. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, you can find the recipe linked down below on sarahsvegankitchen.com and I will see you very soon. Bye.